Hello everybody, a very good morning to you, Sunday morning, Sunday the 30th of April, and it's uh, just after a 11.45, well in fact it's exactly 11.45, because that's when we said we'd pop up with the promotion for tonight. Now when I say tonight, of course, I mean 10 o'clock sharp, live here on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform, and I shall be here at 10 o'clock sharp, and we have one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for the whole world. So there you are now. We have lots and lots to talk about tonight. I shan't make it all about uh, politics, of course, because a lot of you love politics, and a lot of you say, oh, not too many politics, Scotty, please. So I'll get the politics out of the road. I was watching uh, terrestrial television in uh, the United Kingdom this morning, and I saw an interview with the Prime Minister and what have you. And I thought to myself, you know, it's interesting because there's quite a lot of nonsense being talked here and it's not always being pulled up for. And I think we the people like to see many, many different types of interviews, but we need to see the human being that is looking after us. And it was interesting, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Mrs. Theresa May, she said that she was getting frustrated in her Brexit um, negotiations and what are well, the start of the, the Brexit negotiations, or discussions about Brexit negotiations, she was getting frustrated by the other political parties. Now, did it not occur to her that the other political parties represent people who do not want Brexit? So we're not all behind Brexit. We're kind of railroaded on the back of a slightly um, questionable referendum. And uh, there should have been far, far more discussion before ever triggering Article 50. I also think that we got the timetable not exactly right. I think we should have had the second Scottish independent referendum first, and then decided who is being represented in this Brexit thing. And then also, we then should have waited for the outcome of all the proceedings about uh, various members of Parliament, see when that was all finished, then a general election, and then the Brexit discussions. That would be the right and proper way to do things. And one of my questions is, have we lost the right and proper way to do things in this country? Have we lost the right and proper way to do things in the world? We do it as a people, as a team. If you do not have the backing of the people, you are nothing. It's as simple as that. And Scotty McClure over the last 33 years has been delighted to have the backing of the people. And for that, I thank you. So we're looking at that. We're also looking at one or two other um, political things tonight. I mean, what have we got right? What have we got wrong? Uh, we're talking about it's going to be very difficult to care for everybody in later life. Now, if that's the case, do we go down the road of some Eastern countries of saying one child only, only one child per family? But then, how many children do you have to look after? Or do we go down the route of the Roman Catholic Church that every child is a gift from God? Therefore, have as many as you possibly can and make sure you do not contraceive. Then there will be more to look after us when we're all old and frail. So there's a lot to be discussed there. So should we have one child or should we have lots of children? We'll be discussing that tonight, of course. Now, uh, also, what else are we discussing? Well, a whole variety of things, right? Uh, should we have a political program emanating from Scotland on a Sunday morning to counter the national political programs? And what would you call it? Would you call it McClue? Just simply McClue. So there we are. We're talking about all that. And this weekend is a fabulous weekend because I'm raising five thousand pounds towards the new independent media and towards improving the output here live on the Scotty McClue show. So therefore, so many of you have been so generous, I would like to see if we can actually make that total. So go to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll see the links on Facebook there and pop in some pennies, a couple of pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever you think you are comfortable with, but do it and do something 
for me. So there you are. And also we've got Margaret uh, Sweeney's watching. Didn't you do? Jerry Carter's watching. Jack Coates. Olivia Elaine Murray has shared the video. Stuart Walker's watching. Many, many, many of you watching, guys. And that is tremendous. Now, you will see the videos popping up in Facebook. Please never ever balk at that. Just say, no, no, that's Scotty. That's absolutely fine. And forward it and share it. It's lovely to see a hundred people have liked your video. It would be even better to see a hundred people have loved your video and a hundred people have shared your video. So the big word when it comes to Scotty McClue is share. Share, 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 share. And then um, also we also have got pancakes. Says Darren Miller. Yes, Darren, absolutely. Pancakes. Couldn't agree more. Excellent. I may well go and have one with my morning tea. Uh, Jack Coates is watching. Thank you, do, Jack. Hi, Scotty. This is Margaret Hempel Sweeney. Hi to you, Margaret. Lovely to have you with us live here on Facebook Live. Now, those of you who have access to Twitter, can you go and follow me on Twitter? And also, can you go to Periscope and you will see I have been broadcasting live on Periscope. Excellent stuff, and some of them are huge. One's got um, oh, well over 1,200 people having a look at it on there. You'll see me with a, uh, a polka dot tie, this tie, in fact, and a blue jumper. Uh, so there are potatoes, says Neil Martin Allen. Thank you, Neil Martin Allen. Potato, I may well go and have a potato with my morning tea. Um, so can you share, 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 share this video right now? Can I rely on you to spend the day spreading the word that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live this Sunday evening at 10 o'clock sharp? Be there or be square. Don't miss it. Remember, if you miss a second of McClue, you miss a moment of life. So you don't want to be doing that. Uh, follow me on LinkedIn. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Go and follow me on Periscope. You can actually follow me on Periscope. Very, very important. Share, 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 share this video. Get yourselves onto the YouTube channel. Now, a word to the wise here. You go to your search engine or you go to Google and you put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Scotty McClue YouTube channel. You don't put it in three times, you put it in once. Up will come the channel. Can you subscribe to the channel? Because with about another 170 subscribers, we can get uh, YouTube joining us live as a broadcast platform. Excellent stuff. Um, Potato, we've got that Chris Max watching, Michael Yule's watching, JP McCusker is watching, a fine, fine fellow. JP, lovely to have you with us. John Toms is watching, that's tremendous, excellent stuff, and thank you to all of you who are watching. It is superb, it's wonderful. Now, I've also done midweek pop-ups, I've done a general election special. Very, very important. Be quite interesting. I don't know if you saw Mrs. May yesterday. She went to the village hall in Krathis in Aberdeenshire. And, um, you know, she, she didn't meet a great deal of people. Now, I was saying this morning, you'll see the, um, the Facebook live post. Um, I was saying this morning, see the post on Facebook, that I, over the last 33 years, have been a public figure and a public servant. I've spoken to millions and millions of people on television, on radio, online, live, after dinner speaking, you name it, McClue has done all that over a 33 year period. Now, I've also shaken hands with literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. I've talked to them. I've asked them. For the last 25 years, I've hosted late night phone in programs on various major radio stations throughout the country in all the country's top markets. And I've spoken to millions there. And we've had all the feedback. Now, I think a politician is not worth a sack of salt if they don't actually go and meet the people, shake their hands, 
ask them, are they with them, and if not, what is the problem? So there you go. Wonderful, wonderful election story about some stocking horse candidate, a 28-year-old marketing assistant um, who was representing the Conservatives in South Yorkshire. <laughs> all of you that understand politics and all of you that understand South Yorkshire and the Conservatives will know what I'm on about here. And he went up to a miner's door. Fortunately, the soul wasn't on shift. And he rapped the door. rat ta tat tat And out came the guy. And there he was with his sheepskin jacket and his silk tie and all the rest of it. And he said, hello, I'm from London. My name's, uh, you know, Cedric McQuackle or whatever it was. And he said, and I would like to be your conservative candidate. And the guy gave him a serious, serious lecture about what Margaret Thatcher had done to South Yorkshire and in fact to the rest of the country to its whole industrial base what Margaret Thatcher had done to the people how many lives had been ruined by her policies at the time and how many lives had been ruined by her arrogance and her lack of consultation and how many lives had been ruined with the huge battle to try and break the miners and to break the unions. How many lives and how many livelihoods and how many families in this country are now the poorer for having Margaret Thatcher as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? Immeasurable, immeasurable. Anyway. Back to the story. So the chap gave him a real piece of his mind. And I don't know if you've ever met miners. A lot of them highly, highly, highly intelligent switched on people who work immensely hard for the country and for not terribly high wages. I wouldn't have done the job for what was asked. And I've met many, many, many miners. And I've lived in South Yorkshire. So all of you watching will know I know what I'm talking about. And I've lived twice in South Yorkshire for a number of years. And uh, so anyway, on with the story, on with the story. This is, this is, it's, it's like, it must be like watching Ronnie Gordon here for you. So he rat a tat tats the door. The miner gave him a piece of his mind, slammed the door, right? And the chap gave him his due, 28 years old, marketing from London, whatever. rat a tat tats the door again. The guy opens it and says, yes. And he says, tell me this, could I put you down as a possible? <laughs> now, I think that's absolutely fabulous. Anyway, there we are. Daniel Joseph, good afternoon. Daniel Joseph, a very fine fellow. Nice eyebrows, says Megan O'Creachan. Brian McKinley is watching. Olivia Elaine Murray, you're adorable. That was fun. You've made me a happy, Scotty, a very happy Sunday. So there you are. There's lots more where that came from, folks. I went into the doctors the other day. I said, can you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? That's what happens. I went into the doctors. He said, Scotty, you're a little bit on the heavy side. Pop up in the scales and uh, we'll see what you are. I'll take five pounds off your clothes. I said, why is that, doctor? He said, well, that's all they're worth. So there we go. Jim Stephen Gibbs watching Dinky Doo. Good afternoon, Scotty, says Daniel. By the new and Dinky Doo, says Margaret Hemphill Sweeney. Yes. So I will see every single one of you, every mother's son and daughter, every daughter and son's mother and father and granny and grandpa, the whole lot of you, join us live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp this Sunday evening right on this page I will see you then be there or be square says Scotty McClue dinky-doo now go fund me